my name is Caleb, and this is the doo-doo drone. <laughs> this is the poo pilot. This is the feces flinger 5000. This is tangled. <laughs> Badly. Is the poop copter. <laughs> the world's first aerial bound dog poop removal system. It's fully self guided, it's fully capable of removing poop from grass, and it's full of crap. <laughs> this is Twinkie. Twinkies dinkies are all over my yard. And no one, no one likes to pick up dog poop. People use bags, rakes, scoopers. Some even pay for a service. Anything to get away from touching dog poop. Now, I've thought about this problem way more than I'd like to admit. My first attempt at it was to build a dog poop detector in my backyard using a security camera, which would monitor Twinkie and basically whenever she, it detects she's pooping. <laughs> It keeps a log of where she poops, and it just stores an image, and over time it stores the locations, which is really nice, especially in winter. <laughs> when, uh, uh, snow covers it, it keeps track of it if you're lazy like me. Um, but the problem is you still gotta touch the poop. Second crack at it, building on the dog poop detector, robot arm with a laser. The way it worked is building on top of the poop detector, it would point the laser at the nearest poop. It would do a traveling salesman-esque optimization to find <laughs> the optimal route through the yard based on where I'm standing. If it detects, basically I bend over, it detects I picked it up, and it moves and routes me to the next one. Same problem, still gotta touch the poop. Today, you don't have to touch the poop. The poop copter, the poop copter is capable of Scanning areas defined by a user, your backyard, for example. And as it's scanning, it's performing real-time computer vision using the camera, which is inside the drone. I don't know if I can, is this, oh no, I'm <laughs> screen sharing. Uh, there's a camera inside the drone, and this is streaming footage to an off-board machine, which is doing a lot of uh, machine learning stuff, and I can, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, if it finds a poop, it will attempt to perform a precision landing. This is the first major technical challenge I ran into as the current prototype only allows for about five to six inches of error. Basically, it needs to land with the poop in the bounds of the box in order to attempt pickup. And most drone precision landing use cases are like GPS based and usually just like a meter or two is fine. But this is, we gotta get way more accurate for this to work. Um, now I have around three different system designs which attempt to make this, or aim to make this work. This version you're seeing shifts the heavy compute off board to a machine nearby or a, a machine in the cloud or, or something. And it's live streaming the footage, just like the dog poop detector, from the, from the, uh, the drone to that machine and employing, applying machine learning models to detect if there's poop in frame over and over as it's streaming footage, and if it detects it, where it is in, in frame, and then over a WebSocket connection to a Raspberry Pi mounted very jankily to the frame of the, of the drone, uh, which is hardwired to the flight controller, which controls the fine movement of the drone and sends it landing messages, so it can attempt to make that landing. This is the most technically challenging part of the project, as the faster this can happen, the more precise the landing is. So it, it took me a while to iterate through precision, or the, the trade-off between precision and accuracy and speed. Um, and other things are fighting against this, this process, like wind, uh, mostly just wind. Um, <laughs> now I could make the drone bigger and the box bigger, but then it gets way more expensive, the bigger drones, and it's, it's already kind of dangerous. <laughs> this leads me to the pickup mechanism. My approach from the start was affordability and simplicity. Your first thought might be to use a scooper or a jaw, that's what everyone says. But those are really hard to use um, when aboard a drone because there's a lot of environmental factors and it needs to land with precision. So something with, that allows for error, like this, a big circle, um, makes it a lot easier. And those other, yeah, power draw, if there's motors or anything like that, it's pulling battery from the drone to be able to fly and, and it's more uh, expensive too. After around 20 iterations of design, optimizations, <laughs> and explosive crashes, 
um, arrived at this design, which is optimized for picking up objects in grass. Grass, particularly, presents unique challenges. I'll power it on, because I'm about to fly it and hopefully not crash it. It's a little Zelda. So the way it works is it, if it rotates about like 30, 45 degrees, this, the leaves sort of flare in. And they've, they've, this design of, oh, I guess I'll go back to, oops. Well, I'll just show it, I don't have much time. I'll just show how it works by hand real quick and then I'll do it by, via flight. So in an automated way, it could just rotate counterclockwise 30, 30 or so degrees. And then it closes, scoops, and there I've picked up the poop. I don't know if you can see it back there. And then the idea is it lands and rotates the other direction and we've released the fake poop. So I will hopefully not incur a large bill shredding this screen um, and just show, I'm just gonna do that, show how it can work from the drone's perspective, not just me. Because the whole idea is this whole thing is automated end to end. After the precision landing, let me get off this horrible. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like a UFO, but it's abducting dog poop instead of people. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna try to close. There we go, we've closed it. Uh, people in the front can feel the, the vast winds from the poop copter, but I'm just gonna fly around. I'm gonna go land here, uh, see if I can get very nervously on. There we go. And then the idea is you just rotate the other way and it's released and it's dropped it off. Or, or, that's not all, or the drone can spin fast enough in midair such that the mechanism will fling open and you can sky dump. You can sky dump on your neighbors or wherever, wherever you want to uh, make, that, make that happen. Patrolling, detecting, picking up, and dropping off is the poop copter at its core. And this is just a prototype. Not sure what direction to take this thing. Could go directly to consumer, where people could have an app or a website, whatever. They draw a bounding box of a GPS or on a map, and then their very own poop copter could go to that coordinate system and just do a grid-like scan and use cloud compute and apply the machine learning models, whatever. Do the landing, what I just showed you. Or just like the garbage man, maybe there's a poop man <laughs> who shows up in your neighborhood with the poop van and out the back pops a set of drones, and they go to their target yards, and they pick up poop, and bring it back to the poop van for collection. There's a lot of fun ways, fun and interesting directions this could go, and this is just the start. Unless I get sued or something, because it attacks a dog, that would suck. All right, check out my website, killbolson.com, for my contact info, um, reach out if you're interested in collaborating or partnering in any way, or even if you have advice or comments on the project, because I don't really know what to do with this thing. Thank you for listening. <laughs>